What's up, hello guys, welcome back to Exploratory, and today I'm going to be reviewing Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I know I said I would do the Infernal Devices, but this is kind of in connection to something Tessa reads. So you know what? I'm just gonna go with it. Um, I don't really have any non-spoilery thoughts. I really enjoyed the book. Um, the main, the protagonists, the main characters that are throughout the story are not my favorites. Um, I will get into that, though. Um, so, goodbye non-spoilery people or people who want to read the book. If you aren't planning on reading the book or you've read the book and want to discuss it, stay! <laughs> okay, so, first thing I want to talk about, um... Are the characters it starts out with and kind of what I liked about them, what I didn't. Oh, okay, so Catherine Lint Heathcliff Knee Linton. I got the idea from Cassie Claire, by the way. Um, she, she is she's very brave. She's courageous. She's stubborn. I like her character. She reminds me of a lot of YA typical protagonists. This book really surprised me, protagonist-wise. Um, she is really sweet, and her begetting sin, I think, is she kind of sometimes can be a little inconsiderate of others' needs. Um, but it's not super bad. I did like the character of Hareton in the end. I think he was a little bit, like, rough around the edges for me for the majority of the book. But by the end, I really did like Hareton because he kind of gets his act cleaned up because of Catherine. Um, Heathcliff. I hated him. He was just too much. I mean, the things he did crossed my invisible line. Um, and then Mr. Lockwood and Miss Dean, Ellen Dean, is obviously some of my favorites. I liked the housekeeper's name, Zelia, Zelia, I liked her. She was sweet, although she wasn't very compassionate for Catherine's situation, which I will get to later. Um, I'm just kind of going over characters now. Joseph, I didn't like. He was argumentative. He's just such a horrid-natured person. Um, I didn't like Hindley. I didn't mind his wife, but Hindley just, just now. Um, Catherine Linton Nee Earnshaw. I didn't like her either, um, but I did enjoy her husband, Edward Linton, and his sister, Isabella Heathcliff Nee Linton. Um, they were both good. And as for um, Linton Heathcliff, I equal measured. I had mixed feelings because he was selfish and he had self pity, but at the same time, he had. He got ill very easily, he was weak, he was fragile, and I don't know. So, that's pretty much all my thoughts on characters. Um, so the story starts out with Mr. Lockwood, who's taken up tenant in this place called Thrushcross Grange. And his, um, the person who owns both properties, um, Wuthering Heights and Thrushcross Grange, is Mr. Heathcliff. And he lives in Wuthering Heights. And so he goes to pay a visit to talk to his tenant, and he meets him. And I believe he may have met Joseph the first time around. And they see him out, and he goes back the next day in the middle of a snowstorm. And he meets them. They, he miss, meets Catherine, the late Catherine. Um, and he meets Hareton and Zelia and um, Joseph all again. And he ends up having to stay the night because the snow's so bad. Um, and he has awful nightmares about this woman named Catherine Linton, and about church stuff, just dreadful nightmares, um, from reading just some of the stuff written in an, in some old books, um, and this name just traced over and over again into the windowsill. So he goes home, he gets sick, and he starts, but we hear him listen to his housekeeper, Miss Dean's account of some, of Heathcliff's life. So he came as like an orphan that his father that their father took in and favored. He di he didn't like Catherine, but he spared her for Heathcliff's sake because Heathcliff and Catherine were thick as thieves. Hindley um 
and him hated each other. They got into many rivalries, and Catherine and him would often play outside and get into all sorts of shenanigans. Yes, I just said that word. It's shenanigans. Um, so, and that was that. Hindley goes off to college. Miss, um, Mr. Earnshaw dies. Hindley, her brother, comes back. Catherine and Heathcliff are forced to be quiet, stay apart from each other, and all that. And they ran, kept running away on the moors. And they get older, and they run away on the moors. And Catherine gets her foot hurt by this dog one day when they run off they go to look at the Lintons and she gets her foot hurt by the dogs and she stays there for five weeks and she kind of turns into more of a lady then and she comes back and Heathcliff's like where has my regular Kathy gone I would like to meet her and so she kind of like grows up for a while playing two sides like super um sophisticated to the Lintons and then to Heathcliff she's rough and tough she ends up getting married to Edgar Linton, and they are together for a while, and Heathcliff runs off when he finds out, because he's in love with her. And he comes back through a couple years later, um, and surprises them, and they're going good, and then just, she, Edgar and Heathcliff get into this big feud, and it makes Catherine ill to the point that she ends up dying, at, v directly after having Catherine Linton having her daughter. And so the story kind of starts picking up because Isabella had eloped with Heathcliff and then found him to be a horrid, a horrible husband, a horrible person. And Hindley at this point dies, I believe, like directly after his sister. And Heathcliff owns the estate, takes care of Hareton, um, and can go get his son from Isabella Linton, who was pregnant with him at the time, at any time. So basically, what ends up happening is Isabella dies from an illness, and Linton comes and stays with them for one day before he has to go to Wuthering Heights, where his father has summoned him. And Catherine goes on till she's 16 without seeing him again. She sees him for an hour, determines that she is in love with him, and they start sending notes back and forth after her father forbids her to go see him again. Um, at some point, he gets so ill um, from not being able to see her and no correspondence, that she comes and she goes to their house almost every night for three weeks against her father and Ellen's orders. Um, so long story short, they end up getting married and Linton dies almost directly afterwards. Edgar, her father, dies and Heathcliff is keeping an eye on them all when... Um, he starts, like, he see, feels Catherine, the first Catherine's presence all the time. And so he ends up, um, dying of illness. I think starvation and mental illness, all sorts of stuff. Because he's, like, crazy at this point because Catherine's dead. And then Catherine Linton gets to own the estates and she and Hareton fall in love. Um, and that's kind of just the gist of the story. I really did enjoy it. I rated a five-star read. I loved it even if it, the protagonists weren't my favorite. Um, I guess that's all for this video. Bye.